Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to more Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. In this part of the campaign, I can happily say that we are no longer blockaded. And because of that, I now have access to 5 million per month. This used to be about three to 400,000, but thanks to the blockade that's no longer in effect, the economy is flourishing and I can get 5 million a month. That means bigger shipyards. Currently, um, I can go to 9,750, and as you guys promptly pointed out, what I can currently do um, is not build the Battleship 3, simply because my shipyards aren't up to it. But if I keep increasing, I should be able to do that, right? So let's spend almost the entirety of the budget and t uh, 15 months on getting another 1,250 tons for a total of 11,000. The rest of the fleet is coming along nicely. In just a few more months, we're going to have a few more of our battleships. And with these guys in the water, I imagine that our, uh, our war power and naval power is also going to increase. At the moment, we have 39 ships as a couple more torpedo boats came off the line. The British have 46. So whereas they used to have 60 ships, they have lost quite a few. They did, however, get a new technology, which is the triple steam expansion engine, or tri tri exp triple expansion steam engine. With that technology, they might be able to build better, or at least faster ships. As for my research, uh, we're a bit all over the place. I'm not really specifically investing in any one given research, because as I've shown you in the previous episode, if you do that, it leads to a situation where the other ones are just getting neglected by a large margin. What I am getting, however, is um, gun cotton, and this is going to allow for a lot more shell damage. I think my shells are currently firing black powder. Let me check. The Braunschweig class. What are you guys using? Black powder. Yeah. The thing is, I already have access now to the new stuff. So let's go for a new design. And I need to throw on at least a gun. There. Uh, oh, here, never mind. Sorry. It's brown powder propellant and black powder shell charge. So never mind. It doesn't work. Discard it. Yes. All right. We have a bit of an encounter happening over here. This is my five torpedo boats. These are the fast guys. Against pretty much what I wanted to find, which was a bunch of cruisers. And um, as we have seen before, the cruisers can shoot back with torpedoes. They are dangerous, but these guys are ridiculously quick. And especially a heavy cruiser would be a very nice kill. Now we are here officially for the transports, but I kind of doubt that we'll be able to get a, <laughs> get a good look at those before they die. Or sorry, before uh, we die, rather. Five torpedo boats. Why are you... Not sure why you're flying solo, but anyway, uh, we're going to detach the whole division. And I want to make sure that we're going to arrive more or less at the same time. So I want you guys to start operating in more or less a line formation, and this should do it. The enemy's to the west. So I'm not actually going to sail west just yet. Not just yet. I'm going to turn a little bit and just get my guys into a bit more of a concentration so that I have one big punching group instead of five torpedo boats coming in almost solo. Let's see, I need these two to catch up. You can start slowing down as well. You're going a bit too fast and too far. There. And I probably could have done this with the formation system. It's just that I don't really trust the formation system to not mess this up. All right. Now I'm happy. We can make this work. So we're going to charge in at maximum speed and go and harass a couple of ships. The first one that we spot, we spot at extremely close range. This guy just popped up. This is their heavy cruiser. But they popped up at 800 meter range. It's night. We have a lot less accuracy. And the overcast weather, I suppose, is not making things easier. Fortunately, this is going to work to my advantage. 
not my problem. Because with this terrible visibility and this, this massive lack in accuracy, I can very quickly line up my torpedo boats and most likely not have to worry that much about getting hit with gunfire. Of course, the same cannot be said for the torpedoes from these guys. Um, I imagine that torpedoes are basically unaffected by any kind of weather. Because it's just a steel fish that you put in the water, you tell it to go somewhere, and you tell it to blow something up. It's not much more resourceful than that. When it comes to the price discrepancy, I have a big advantage here. I get the 1.2 million heavy cruisers. And um, they are very expensive. So my entire fleet is cheaper than their ships. Their one heavy cruiser, that is. I want you to fire. That fish completely missed the mark. You're also going to fire at the cruiser. Uh, you're probably not going to fire at the cruiser. And over here, I need to do a bit of microing. I'm very much expecting that thing to start launching a torpedo. Probably soon. So let's do the unexpected and turn in. Come on, buddy. Drop that torpedo. This one already did. Leading to quite a bit of problems on the Kent. There's the torpedo. And I dodged it from the S-31. You can also move in. The 25 was the one that launched the Torp. The 27 also launched her Torp. And that should be the end of the Kent. So I can now see about taking down this light cruiser. But I don't have any torpedoes to do that with. Oh, you dodged it. Oh, that was good. You didn't. <laughs> the Canada didn't. Look at the list on that cruiser. Ooh, dude. But this torpedo, unfortunately, might not finish it off. So I'm very much hoping that the S-35's torp will kill it. Because I need that heavy cruiser out of play. The light cruiser, the Canada, took a big hit. There's the torpedo that hit the heavy cruiser. Uh, the light cruiser returned fire. As was expected. But I was not in time to dodge it. The heavy cruiser can't... Oh, are they going to survive? No, they're probably... Well, it's so close. Are we going to do the whole 1% dance again? Ah, oh, shit, we are. No, I don't want to. Um, officially, I'm not even here for these guys. I am here to deal with transports. That's my mission. Sink 50% of the transports. Now, the enemy came from the northwest slash west. So, if I can just pop a couple of torpedoes at the cruisers here. Um, and, well, you need to try and get out of here alive. See, I just lost vision on the heavy cruiser. Torpedo will weigh against the Canada. The Canada... Hmm. You've got a damaged rudder and a damaged engine, but you're going so incredibly slow. And the torp was poorly aimed, so I think it'll survive. But, again, not all is lost, because I might be able to use this to my advantage if I can find their transports. Enemy smoke to the east. Yeah, that is the heavy cruiser, the light cruiser, and the other light cruiser there. Ah, and you are? Oh, shit, you're a torpedo boat. Oh, dear. The Kestrel. And I know these boys. Yep, they're armed with torpedoes. Several of them. They got a dual launcher. And they just spent both. Okay. That thing popped up at about 400 meter ris distance. Uh, increase the flank. I had slowed you down to try and dodge torps. Which you did. I don't strictly need to kill the Kestrel. I'm still looking for transports. There, the Kestrel disappeared again. I know for sure that the Canada won't be a problem. And I will not be harassed by the heavy cruiser either. Especially considering I can do 31 knots. And they most definitely can't. 
despite being able to uh, get that new engine. And even if they did get the triple steam expansion engine, it's not like they'll be able to actually use it yet. Because it's going to take a little bit of time to get that installed on their ship. Uh, you're probably going to launch as well. Are you dead in the water? Vulture, two and a half knots? And the last one's somewhere back there. Yeah, here. Come on, Vulture. Throw your torps my way. I just want to be able to see it. Kestrel and S-27 are fighting. Oh, we got a torpedo out from the 27. It's one of the torpedo boats that I forgot to turn the torpedoes off. The Vulture, for some reason, just neglected to launch her torpedo. And the Kestrel, even though I can't see it, will get hit. Big damage to the Kestrel. These foggy battles are very interesting. Oh, extensive fire. Considering you lost one of your torpedo boats from the overview, you lost a torpedo boat. Which makes sense, because it's the only thing that I actually hit. So... Transports. Anybody seen any? Not with this level of fog, probably. What I imagine has happened is that um, the transports immediately started turning tail. And they are probably doing 14 knots-ish. So I still have a bit of time to try and catch up to them. Not too much later, I have found what I was looking for. I heard it first, and then I found it. Two transports found each other and collided. And by the looks of it, both of these are armed. So I'm going to have to try and make this quick. Because I am very uninterested in getting sunk by a bunch of transports. But this is what these little, <laughs> these little wolf packs do fantastically well. Just harass. Sink transports. Um, I could use torpedoes for that if I wanted to. And considering that these guys are definitely capable of inflicting damage against me, I might just do that. I might just pop a torpedo out to that transport there, or this one here. Oh, this one doesn't need any help. The moon is already getting hit by one of the other transports. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, target the Maori. Before we lose line of sight. We got four of our five guys in. And the last one's straggling. Or, yeah, straggler. It's not going to be doing that much. Torpedo out from the S25. But the S25 is taking a lot of damage. That is not good. You got your gun on the bow. You're going to have to try and do damage here. Please hit that ship. There you go, good man. Okay. Um... Status on the gun. We are firing at the Mastiff. And despite these guys being cadets, I do fully expect them to get quite a lot of damage in. It's basically target practice here. Target the Maori. There we go, fire and flooding. The moon sinks. That was the one that got the torpedo hit. And now we're just picking off a bunch of transports, which could very quickly lead to the demise of the British transport fleet. Especially if I can get away with this a few more times. Um, unfortunately, the S-27 doesn't have any torps left. That is sad. But I'll just have to try and gun these things down. Which shouldn't be taking that much time. I want you to go full speed and intercept the next one. Mastiff. Wait, 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 wait. Who torpedoed a ship? Oh, you did. You just torpedoed the Maori. Oh, I can work with that. That's fine. Finish that off. In case it needs help. Maximum bulkheads on a transport? Fine. 7% achieved. I'm going to need to sink quite a few more. Because there were 14 in this battle. That's two of them down. I want you to circle the Maori. And finish her off. My torpedo boats will take a bit of a beating here. But that's fine. Especially considering how cheap they are. 
And yeah, look at that. This is already four times the price. Hello. There's another transport. Unfortunately for my little ships, all of these boys are armed. And that is going to cause some issues. I want you to fire AP at the target. Because it has no armor. You. You're going to torpedo the Spitfire. Come on. I want you to open up a hole on that ship. I want you to flood it out. Engine damaged. I'm also using the Viceroy as a, th a shield against the ferret. Oh, 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 oh. Appreciate the enthusiasm, just don't ram. Because a transport is about 40 times bigger than you are. Oh, you launched a torpedo at maximum range? Hmm. Even a transport might be able to dodge that. Okay, fine. High explosive. Sink that. There you go. There's your flooding. My Ori is down. We have sunk 14% so far. I'm going to need to do a little bit better than this. The torpedo completely missed. Sink the partridge, please. Right. I cannot see something the size of a transport. Oh. That's uncomfortable. Jeez, how many flash fires can you survive? You're a transport. You got six flash fires. Seven. Do you even have that many guns? Well, not anymore, you don't. Seven flash fires? Get real. Just sink already. This is insane. Circle the target. I'm still only at 21%. This is going to actually be a little bit more on a knife's edge than I'd hoped for. Note how their ships still haven't tried to help. They got torpedo boats, which are by far their fastest ships, but they have either been unsuccessful at aiding their transports, or they just flat out didn't care. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm kind of blaming the lack of a proper AI for this. Oh shit, I lost one. Crap. I still got this crippled S31 here. We have still only 21%. Cause I got two half dead ones here. I need to be working more as a wolf pack. Focus fire on one target and very quickly wipe it out before we get two of these half casualties that are really not going to get me anything. So get the Viceroy. Just take it out. Either f burn it down, sink it, I don't care. Get rid of it. Spitfire seems to be taking a ton of fire from fu or a ton of damage from fires. The S25 is fully functional as for right now. There goes another one. Currently. What? Ah, there we go. 43%. Hello. You're next. sad that I didn't kill the heavy cruiser. I really wanted to kill that one. Because that would have taken the Brits quite a bit of time to rebuild. And a transport, I think, is... Oh, something else is shooting me now. A transport is... Well, they're still valuable. And they will impact the economy. But overall, when it comes to war power or fleet power, they're not that impressive. Mission accomplished. Job done. Very nice. Um, yes. And end battle. 
Crew losses, 43 versus 1,159. They did lose the torpedo boat. They lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of their transports. Outcome is a complete victory. Um, because they did cripple one of my torpedo boats and destroyed another, they have scored some victory points, but I expect it not to be that bad. So, not too bad. Monthly balance, still plus 4 million. The fleets, yeah, still 4 months because I haven't ticked over to the next one. Um, I'm still not very interested in building new light cruisers and such. The British Empire lost two transports. Very nice. We have a battle happening here between a battleship of mine and six torpedo boats against two battleships and three light cruisers. They got a lot more tonnage there. Look at that. I'm 10,200. They are 28,000. That's the Magnificent and the Prince George. This is a beautiful target. Now, let's have a go. I want these guys in two attack swarms of three. And uh, the formation here is a bit wonky. All right, a little while later, we have contact with one of their torpedo boats, of all things. Um, serious advice, it still stands not to use the formation system, because I had these guys set to a tight formation in a line abreast to make sure that I was going to be using one big attack wave. And they just completely messed up. And this is even worse. The 22, the 12, and the 30 are still trying to figure out who's boss and where they're going to go. And because of that, they are lagging hopelessly behind. So I'm just going to detach that whole division and charge right in. Now this torpedo boat is going to be a bit of a nuisance, uh, but it's only the prelude. There is more coming in. And it is... Oh, dude. Really? It is over there. That's where one of their battleships is. I want one of my torpedo boats to start running a ton of interference. Oh, that was a beautiful hit. There. You torpedoed my torpedo boat. So I'm going to hard starboard and dodge that. That ought to do it. This is not great. I think that shell wasn't even meant for you. Yeah, it's an 11 inch shell. It was probably meant for the battleship. Successfully dodged the torpedoes from the vulture. Ships behind could be in slight danger, but not that much. Why don't you charge down the vulture? These guys are still cadets, but their accuracy is pretty damn good. The target's been acquired. And now we're going to try and sink these magical buoyancy torpedo boats. I am really interested in sinking their battleships. It's going to take a large player off the field. And if they want to replace them, that's fine. But that's going to take them the better part of a year. These battleships are big, clunky. Uh, they don't do very well against torpedo boats. <laughs> that's a bit of an understatement. And interestingly, um, they also take a long time to replace now, if we could wipe out the Vulture before it reloads the torpedo tubes, then I would be very happy. There's a bunch of cruisers. That's one of their light cruisers. I want this torpedo boat to cut across the Scharnhorst's bow. And we're going to make sure that the light cruiser does not get a lot of opportunity to deal with the torpedo boat. The Vulture is down to 0.5% buoyancy. I wonder if they still have a good line of sight on my light ships after the Vulture sinks. The Vulture sinks. Heavy flooding. You're not allowed to use those yet. Nor you, nor you. And there's one of their battleships. Is this a new design or have we seen these? No, it's an 11-incher. We've seen these before. And if memory serves me, then they don't have a lot of bulkheads. Which they're about to figure out is not necessarily a great way to build a battleship. We got the Pathfinder here. It's a very apt name. It's current lead ship here. Unfortunately for the Pathfinder, who has veteran crew, my crew is 
well, they're not better, <laughs> but interestingly, they're more accurate. I just can't quite tell you why. Oh, good lord, that was nice. Who hit you, though? Yeah, 10 inch shells hit you. There's another light cruiser. I'm gonna mostly ignore the Pathfinder. My plan is to get the battleships, have a go at them, make sure they sink. So take out the big players first. Um, and if later in the campaign I'm gonna be bit capable of building a bunch of, I don't know, light cruisers, maybe heavy cruisers that are capable of hunting down other light cruisers, then I can always take those guys out then. And interestingly, the battleship that I have is not meant to hunt down other battleships. It can do it. We've seen it do it before. It's just that the battleship is... <laughs> it's ironically there to protect, yep, the protect the light ships, the torpedo boats. These are the killers. And I'm very much hoping, and it's working, that the battleship's main guns, the 11 inchers, uh, basically all of them except for the three and the twos, and that goes for all of them, including the, the Prince George here. The sh Sharn horse that I have here is basically serving as a lightning rod. It's attracting all the attention. And the Magnificent does not see the threat that is right in front of her. It's the S3. And now she starts to recognize that maybe the S3 is a risk. And now you're too late. You're going to go for the Prince George, and so are you. You're going to be a bit of a backup of sorts. Since I don't quite know whether you're going to be useful. Torpedo away from the S3. Very good, we can turn around. You do have a bit of engineering issues on the S3, that's fine. The Prince George is desperately trying to get rid of the S3, but the weapon's already away. And that's three, potentially four compartments of the Magnificent pierced. That's what I want to see. Torpedo the Magnificent again. I find that, and you might have already gathered this, um, in the current version of the campaign, torpedo boats are ridiculously overpowered. Because battleships can't deal with them. Um, sure, given enough time, they will deal with them. But most likely, not really. Did something hit me? I thought I heard a torpedo impact, but... No, we're fine. Okay, the NTCL, that's the the ship leader. Hence why it's not one of the S-somethings. It's going to be capable of coming in as the backup and dealing with that battleship. And the S-30 will take out the Prince George. And look at these battleships suddenly run. All of a sudden, they're not so brave. And now most of their guns have switched fire to the torpedo boats. But now it's too late. Now it is way too late. Torpedo away. That ought to be enough to sink the Magnificent, unless... Unless the flooding doesn't spill over. In which case, it'll actually not be sufficient to get rid of that ship. Uh, you can come back. Well, <laughs> at three knots, I don't think you will. Oh well. Might as well try. Yeah, Magnificent's going to survive that. Every secondary gun on the Magnificent. Ignore the Persian. It's not really a problem. Feel free to pitch in. Hard starboard. Enemy torpedo when ready. Come on. Ignore your auto collision avoidance. Oh, I can even finish off the Magnificent with the Torpedo from the Scharnhorst. Yeah, why not? Torpedo away. Torpedo impact on the Magnificent. Torpedo moving towards the Prince George, but looks like a failure. Oh, it was the S-30 that torpedoed the Magnificent. Oh, crap. Come back. Oh, shit, you didn't launch at all. Sloppy, sloppy. 
Sharnhorst. Torpedo away. Bow launcher against the Magnificent. Hard to starboard. Can we please finish this one? Because they're struggling on 2%. Port side launcher. No, the Sharon Horse didn't rotate her torpedo launcher fast enough. Oh, crap. Fine. The S3, remarkably, fixed one of her engines. And should be capable of doing another attack. Sharnhorst is taking a beating here. One of my light ships has sunk. Come on. Shit out of torpedo. There you go. I was going to say shit out of torpedo out of the stern launcher, but no joy. Ugh. Fine. It's a bit overkill, but alright. We were here anyway. The S30 is almost ready. The 22 can come in. 12 is ready and the 24 is ready. Very good. Just kind of shadow the Prince George, if you will. Not a very safe spot to be. But the moment that that torpedo launcher comes online, I want to be ready for it. The 30 sinks. Oh, I'm trying to rush this battle too much. Come on. Drop your torp. Drop your torp. Torp away. There's one battleship out of commission. Let's go for two. The 24 refused to launch. I want you out of this fight. Let's be honest, effectively you're already out of this fight. Uh, the 3 can back away. you got a ton of flooding happening. Oh, hold, hold, hold. Do not launch your torp. Torpedo already on the way. And that ought to kill her, because that was impacting a section that was basically harmless. There. That's two of your precious battleships out of the fight. And um, these things are expensive. 3.7 million. The torpedo boats say hello. And sadly, you really do not have a reply, do you? Now, most of my torpedo boats are useless at this stage. The 22 can retreat. Uh, the 12 can also retreat. We're going to have the 3 retreat. Uh, that's most of them. Because the other one has... Or actually two of them have been sunk. Now the Persian does have torpedoes. So I need to be a little careful here. How many torps do you have left? Two of them. Okay. Got a nice fire going on the Persian. Let's turn starboard. Bring both guns to bear. Especially since they're pretty decent accuracy here. Go for AP. Can we flood them out? Not like that, we can't. Charge of the Light Brigade. There's the Pathfinder. Still in pretty much working condition. It's uh, Unfortunately, these boys have a smokescreen. So it makes it difficult to hit them. So the S-24 slowed down as they're on approach. Reason being, the Persian will launch a torpedo at it. And I want to be able to keep dodging that. So let's see where... Oh, they're turning away. Okay. Scharnhorst, maintain fire. Again, I don't strictly need to sink these lights. I just consider that I'm a target of opportunity. Dude, high explosive. Okay, now that you're behind it, you can charge right in, because there's no torpedo risk. The risk, however, is the Scharnhorst. Because the Scharnhorst might miss the Persian and accidentally hit the torpedo boat. And if that happens, it's going to be probably pretty devastating to the torpedo boat. Rudder jam. I don't like her rudder being jammed like that. It's going to make it very difficult to figure out how to get a torpedo onto that target. Especially since the 24 doesn't have a lot of time left. Go on. 
Oh shit, the 24th torpedo launcher has been destroyed. I missed that. Their launcher is red. It's pretty rare that a torpedo launcher gets completely destroyed, so I didn't even consider it a possibility. And that's why I didn't check for it. Ow. Still, I already won the battle. Light cruisers are basically bonus. Now, sadly, that battle there didn't quite end the way that I hoped. Um, I lost the Scharnhorst. And that was due to a torpedo from a light cruiser that I really was not expecting. Sadly, the Scharnhorst was lost. However, the British lost two battleships. So I still have very much come out ahead. And this means that the battleships for the British are three. Mine are three as well. I don't know what they're building, but I can tell you that my ships are coming off the shipyard in three months. And they're immediately going to sea control. So it is very likely that these three new ships are going to be potent and potentially overwhelming to the British. Now, that'll be all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Fuck-ups and everything. And I shall see you guys soon for the next one.